Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Press This Hands On. This week, we're actually going over the popular plugin WordPress SEO by Yoast, which has been downloaded over 10 million times and is not to be confused with the other plugin by Yoast, Google Analytics, which is used to set up your Google Analytics account. This tutorial is going to take you through how to set up your posts to optimize SEO using this popular plugin. To find the plugin after install, it will usually be found in by default right below your post. The first section titled general will tell you what this post is going to look like when it's on Google search um, from the site title all the way to the meta description. And you can tweak these things below. But the most important part is the focus keyword. Typing in the focus keyword will allow you to select from a bunch of popular options and pick the keyword you want to rank for on your post. Once you've selected the keyword that you want, the WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin will tell you how good of a job you're doing of ranking, as shown right below. It goes over the article heading, the page title, URL, things like that. You want to make sure that your keyword shows up in the title. The permalink, which is displayed right below the title, make sure that you have permalink set um, by post name. The page uh, article headings as well. And of course, just any appearances it makes in the middle of your content. There's an example of an article heading, optimizing for comment section in this case. You'll notice that meta description is not here. So we're going to go to the meta description here. And we're going to change where we have comment section to comment section to make sure that the keyword gets included. And you'll see that it actually updates on the fly, which is really, really nice. You'll also notice that in the SEO title, we have the keyword there as well. And that the SEO title here is a little bit long. And you'll see up above that gets cut off. What we want to do is we want to shorten this SEO title. So I'm going to delete a couple words here. Still a little too long, so I'm going to delete a couple words from the end to see if I can adjust the length here. Okay, that's sufficient. I'm going to add how to and see what I can do because how to is a good start here. There we go. That's the title we're looking for. Page analysis is the next interesting element of SEO. It's the second tab. Um, you do have to save or update your post before you can use it with the new keyword you just selected in the first tab under focus keyword. Otherwise, it will not work and it will not display up to the minute uh, report. But this is a very, very nice page because it actually allows you to go in and see exactly how your page is being optimized. It gives you keyword percentages, you know, so you want a, a decent keyword density, which means the number of keywords per the amount of words you have on the post. It tells you how readable your page is and a lot of other elements as well. The advanced section is only for administrative users or users who have the administrative privileges uh, set up. This will not display if you're an editor or below. And what it allows you to do is tweak a few of the more advanced settings uh, with regards to the article. Particularly if you're copying content, um, especially with the new Panda 4.0 update, you definitely want to make sure that you're optimizing it um, so that it's a no follow or there's a rel equals canonical tab, which is down below here. You can even set if it shows up on the XML sitemap, which is automatically generated, um, even with this WordPress plugin by Yoast, or if you want it on your HTML sitemap. Maybe you don't want it to show up. Maybe you want your sitemap to be simpler. Back to the rel equals canonical. If you are copying a lot of content from another article somewhere else in the web, you want to make sure you give credit to that other article or else you'll get slapped by Google. So we're going to type in where it says rel equals canonical is the URL of the website, um, or maybe even another post you have on the same website uh, that the content in this post belongs to. If you have lots of content that copies itself, you're going to want to use this quite often. And you also have the option to create a 301 redirect with this URL as well, which will redirect this page or post somewhere else. Finally, we also have the social tab, which is really, really nice. If somebody shares a post, uh, whether it be on Facebook or on Google Plus in this case, you can actually type in exactly what's shared. So if I share a link, it will populate what content's going to show up there and what image it's going to default on Facebook, which is really, really nice and a cool little feature in this plugin that a lot of people don't know about. And there you have it. There's a look at WordPress SEO by Yoast, how to use it within your WordPress posts and pages on your website.
this plugin is running on our popular socialized theme, make sure you check out all of our Slocum themes at slocumthemes.com, the home of the best in premium WordPress themes and WordPress theme support on the market. Thanks a lot.